What should the president be saying right now? You know what? A decent human being would pick up the phone and say, are you okay? How's your family doing? That's what a decent human being does. That's what Joe Biden did. And I think it tells you everything you need to know about the character of the two people that are vying to lead our country for the next four years. You've said the president is complicit with the extremists. Well, anyone who uh, gives safe harbor to or encouragement to is complicit. Yeah, he has said, liberate Michigan, and said, I should negotiate with the very people who are arrested because they're good people. That incites more domestic terror. Attorney General, do you believe President Trump's rhetoric, like that liberate Michigan tweet, is partly to blame, to, is partly responsible? I know it is. All you have to do is look at the evidence in the case like, at where a lot of these individuals uh, who sought to do harm to the governor, the 14 individuals, six of them charged in federal court, eight of them charged by my office, um, many of them met at these same rallies that were uh, in protest of her orders. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Normally, I'd attempt some sort of humorous spin on this story, but it's all just too disturbing to laugh about. Here we have yet another example of the mass media and the FBI lying and deceiving the American people, apparently to improve Democrats' chances in the 2020 election. There were already stories out there in 2020 suggesting that the so-called Whitmer kidnapping plot was an FBI-manufactured event. It was already beginning to look like there wouldn't have even been a plot if not for the dozen or so FBI agents who organized and planned it. Now we basically have confirmation of that fact as the trial ends and the government gets no convictions for their made up kidnap plot was apparently done to influence the 2020 election in favor of Joe Biden. And about the Michigan governor and the DNC media attempting to tie Donald Trump to this fake plot, here's one of the anarchist Antifa ringleaders of the fake plot expressing his pure hatred for Donald Trump. Just last week, the president of the United United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups like these two Michigan militia groups. No, Trump is not your friend, dude. And it's it amazes me that people actually like believe that when he's shown over and over and over again that he's a tyrant. Notice that anarchist flag in the background, a popular Antifa symbol. So that was another lie they told over and over in the media in an attempt to manipulate the public just before the 2020 election. Back to the fake Michigan plot, you know who ran that operation? A guy named Steven D'Antuano, who was chief of the Detroit FBI and has now been promoted to, can you take a wild guess? He was promoted to the head of the DC FBI field office just before January 6th. Then tasked with overseeing the January 6th investigation. Hmm. Now that's interesting, especially since it also looks like that event had a little help from some FBI agents and the Capitol Police. This is not a conspiracy theory, despite what the Democrat state media might tell you. Since we've always had video of the Capitol Police letting people in who by and large walked around peacefully then left. We now have confirmation of this with a defendant who was charged with illegally entering the Capitol having been acquitted of all charges based on the fact it was Capitol Police that let him and many others in. Way too much about January 6th smells like not just the Michigan plot, but lies that we've been hearing from the media and the government going back years, fitting a very specific partisan political pattern. The media, Hollywood, and academia all spreading disinformation about Michael Brown's hands being up before he was shot, which then led to riots. It's not on purpose, I'm not trying to hurt you. NBC News deceptively edits 911 audio of George Zimmerman before the Trevon Martin shooting, which then spreads to every institution, leading to riots and burying the truth that Trevon Martin was shot for attacking a man. That's not on purpose, I'm not trying to hurt you. 
In fact, you can go ahead and add just about all the police shootings to this list because nearly all of them ended up being justified, but leading to riots because the media withheld inconvenient facts or just outright made up myths like hands up, don't shoot, which by Brian Stelter's own standards is harmful disinformation. Then we have all those false flag racist attacks like the Covington kids who were painted as the aggressors with deceptively edited footage again, but who actually turned out to be the victims of two racist adult groups. Go ahead and add all the other hate hoaxes that were so popular on college campuses and to washed up Hollywood stars who knew how gullible and willing the corrupt media is to propagandize the country so that Democrats are good, Republicans bad. Then there's the Russian collusion hoax that was perpetrated by Democrats, their media, and elements of the government. They lied about Rittenhouse, who they baselessly claimed was a white supremacist murderer, but who turned out to be a normal Hispanic kid who defended himself from from violent left-wing criminals during a riot by the way that was incited by a media who lied about the justified Jacob Blake shooting the list just goes on and on the Biden laptop Epstein the FBI raiding journalist in order to protect Joe Biden it's not on purpose I'm not trying to hurt you the point is despite all of these lies being exposed over and over utterly discrediting these people who claim to be our trustworthy gatekeepers of information they still continue lying right to our face they just dismiss their corruption as right-wing narratives and disinformation. Yes, calling them out on their own words is in itself a disinformation campaign in their warped minds. One darkly humorous but inevitable uh, measurement of our success is that um, our disinformation conference has been the subject of disinformation campaigns on social media already. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Congratulate yourselves for that. Um, you just know that the ones who have enough self-awareness to know that they're full of shit, if they even exist, just tell themselves that they're saving democracy or they're saving the earth to justify it. That kind of fanatical delusion is leading to the unraveling that we're witnessing right now and I'll continue to be here exposing it. You can support me in that mission by using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. You can also support this channel by hitting that like button, sharing, and then leaving a comment to let us all know what you think. All of it helps this channel thrive. Thank you.